In this video, we'll be looking at a short problem that deals with revolutions and degrees. And we'll be solving it with unit multipliers, which is just one way that we could be thinking about this problem. So we have a wheel that makes 270 revolutions per minute. And we want to know through how many degrees will a point on the edge of the wheel move in five seconds. So one way to uh, deal with this problem is with unit multipliers. So the wheel um, has a rate of 270 revolutions per minute. Now when you do unit multipliers, you multiply by uh, fractions that are equal to 1. So our question, we want to know how many degrees. So we would uh, multiply this fraction. Uh, I'd put one revolution in the denominator so that these units would cancel revolutions in the numerator and revolutions in the denominator. And I know that one revolution is the same as 360 degrees. So now this fraction is equal to 1. Therefore, it's called a unit multiplier. And I've not changed my initial uh, rate. But I am now in degrees per minute. Um, I also it wants to know how many degrees will a point on the edge of the wheel move in five seconds. So I want to change from minutes to seconds. So I'll also uh, use one minute is the same as 60 seconds. This also is a unit multiplier because these are equal. And I can now cancel off my minutes. So this is uh, these factors when multiplied together will give me um, 1,620. And I'm left with degrees per second. So I have. 1,620 degrees per second. Now the only thing left to do, I uh, want to know how many degrees it'll move in 5 seconds. So I just need to multiply this by 5. And that'll give me 8,100 degrees in 5 seconds.